today so so you just open your jupyter node lab by launching it from anaconda navigator from here so it will take some time so once uh, open once it's open your anaconda navigator just launch your jupyter lab so once you launch your jupyter lab it will give you a window like this so here we are going to be write our code and uh, everything let's see uh, the options over here if you want to write your code here just place your mouse and type writing start writing your code right if you want to add a new window like this is a plus button it will insert a new cell if you would like to insert more cells you just insert more cells and if you want to cut the cells the same way you just go ahead and cut your cell right so before moving on to uh, practicals, so I would like to give uh, agenda of this uh, session. We are going to be import a data from a flat file to our Jupyter lab by using pandas. So let's say for example, if you worked on ETL or SQL developer, let's say if you are a SQL developer, you write a CTL file to load data from file to the database. If you are working as an ETL developer, you are utilizing a tool to load your data from source to target. Means you are trying to import a metadata structure. By using metadata structure, we are loading data from source to the target by passing the records. So how do we do the same in the by using pandas? Right. Now, so before moving on to the first step, now First, we want to import the package pandas. So to import your package pandas, we need to write import pandas. I have shown you everything, right? So in the Anaconda prompt, we do have a number of uh, packages. So we are going to be utilizing whatever the package we require and we'll import the package according to our requirements. If you Click over here, Conda list, we have a list of packages. From here, we'll get the required package. So in this Jupyter lab, I'm going to be import my pandas first. So I'm just importing my pandas. So let's see if it's going to pandas was imported or not properly. So you just select your respective cell. And if you can see the tab over here, then command. So just place your mouse in the respective cell and click on run. That will run your cell. So it just ran. It didn't provide any of the other. Let's say if you have given a wrong keyword here, import panda. See here, no module named panda, but original module name is pandas. See, my pandas got imported. It doesn't show anything. It just, it just imported and we can utilize the all the functions which are available in pandas right now so now i'm going to be read my csv file i do have a file here india core sales and it has a list of data here so is of the core and who is the maker of the core how many quantities were sold what's the market share let's say in 2007 toyota Core maker sold to 884 cars and they have a market share of 22.7 percentage. Likewise, Volkswagen 2521 vehicles. So we do have some 17 records over here. So how we are going to be import this data into our Pandas Jupyter Lab by using Pandas. So I'm closing this one and just move on to your Jupyter Lab. So to import your file. So we do have a function read underscore CSV. What does it do exactly? Read underscore CSV. So read underscore CSV and what I have to read. I have to read a file, right? To read the file, I have to mention the file path first. So what's the file path? This is my file path. So just copy your file path and place it over here. And make sure you must mention the file path in single quotation. Right. So
So once a file path is there, then I have to mention my file name. So see here, so just copy your file and place it here, but you have to mention what extension of the file. My file is .csv file. If you can see the file extension here, by using properties, my file extension is comma separated value file, right? So you have to mention the extension of the file also. If it is .txt, you need to mention .txt, but here I'm reading a CSV file. That's what I have stored the file in .csv format. Okay, so you just mention your file name by using read underscore CSV command. But how does pandas identify read underscore CSV? See, we just imported the pandas package and every function is available. But while using this particular function, we must say to the, this particular uh, Jupyter lab, this is available in pandas. So we need to mention pandas. So in the pandas package, there is a function read underscore CSV. It reads a file in this particular path. See, when you place a pandas dot, the read underscore CSV is color is changed. And if you are removing this one, the color of read underscore CSV is in normal color, right? So what we are trying to do now, first we are importing the pandas and then pandas dot, we are utilizing a function read underscore CSV along with the path of the file. Now, so you just execute it by using run command. See here, I can see all the records which are available in my file. So how many records are there? 16 records, it starts from zero. So until 15, zero to 15 is 16 records. If you can see the file here, if you can see the file here, I do have 16 records, right? I do have 16 records. It is omitting a first record as a header. That's why you can see here, header here, maker, quantity and market percentage share. So this is how you can read your file into pandas by using a function read underscore CSV. Right, now. See, once you imported this file and uh, you are trying to utilizing this uh, data into some other location or some other, you want to utilize the same record as input to the other source. So in that case, we have to store this file first, right? So I'm assigning, I'm passing all these values, all these values into one variable. India underscore sales underscore CSV. You know, you can put India underscore sales. Now, so whatever the data I do have in this sales, I do have in this particular file, all those will come and place into India underscore sales. So once you executed this one, you cannot see anything. Earlier, we are directly printing the data, but now we are not printing the data. To print your data, just take your parameter here and place it over here and execute it. Now, you can see everything. So in the Python, we do have a function, right? Print function. So it can also be applicable here. If you can write a print, but if you can see the output of this particular print, it will show you a different output. And if you can see the output without India under, without print, and you can see with print, just execute it. See, it is showing in a format of print, but earlier what was happening, it is showing all the records in a tabular form. If you can see here, there's a particular tabular form, right? It is showing in a particular record format, tabular format, how our SQL does. But here, it is just printing the value. It is just printing the value, right? So if you, whatever you want, you can do it. Either you can go, go ahead and print your parameter like this, or if you want to print directly with the print command, it's up to you. 
right you just execute this now see i can see all the records so this is how we are going to be print or import the records into pandas by using pandas now all the records are available in my india underscore sales variable okay now so this is one way of importing file now you have a set of records not in a file in a, in a uh, you are trying to entering a record you, you do have manual records and you do want to prepare those records in a tabular form so how do we want to do that so let's say i do have some set of uh, uh, values like this i do have cost sales i'm taking new cell here cost sales and if you can see here the cost sales this is my let's say this is my column and these are the records in the year 2007 i do have four records the company so for the company column i do have toyota suzuki skoda and honda these are the sales the respect to year and market share of each company right so now execute this so all these records are available in new one cost sales now you can print your cost sales you can now see the output it is showing in a format of dictionary whatever the input you have given here it is showing in a format of dictionary so when you are trying to print the same it will show in the dictionary format only it does not show in a format tabular format we need to tell pandas i would like to see this in a tabular format right so to see in a tabular format we do have a function data frame data frame in the pandas i do have a function data frame and applying data frame onto my car underscore sales data then i'm going to be print my car underscore sales so just execute it now see here so the data frame will convert this dictionary format into your uh, tabular format and assigning all those values to a call underscore sales and then i'm printing my call underscore sales hope you enjoy guys and just practice this uh, on your pc and we'll see in the next session how uh, what are different parameters we can apply for read underscore csv